We are Ham Radio. Okay, we're back. I got a friend, KE5MCA, to loan me his Android phone so we can take a look at Node Remote on it. And I'm telling you, I was a little underwhelmed and surprised, really. I always thought the Android stuff would have more functionality than the iPhone stuff would. But I would be wrong. So, with that said, let's take a look here. As you can see right there is the Node Remote software and I'm gonna load it. This is the node that's local to me here. This Supermon page that you see, that you see here, this is that same node that you're seeing on Node Remote. And uh, I need to type in the AMI password, AKA the asterisk manager password. And I changed it for this video. <laughs> and lower the keyboard and there you see the sign in button and I sign in and uh, it didn't like it because I spelled it wrong okay that's that's cool too that's cool too all right I drop the menu hit sign in and we're signed in and the only reason I know that is is you look where it says linked devices there's the number one but it's not showing the node number that it's linked to so I've taken the liberty of putting in the uh, Ham Radio 2.0 hub shortcut in there and we'll hit it and boom, we're linked up. You see it right there in the Supermon page. I've got my announcements turned off on my node so we're not gonna actually hear it. But you see right there, I'm connected to 43136 but up there where it says node number and node information, there's nothing. It always works in the iPhone version of this app. I don't know why it doesn't in this one. You can see our linked nodes went up to 30. So if I hit disconnect, I'm just gonna hit disconnect from this node and it doesn't do it. Disconnect again, all nodes, and it disconnects everything. I had 1776 hooked up as my private node. It gets disconnected too. So I can hit the direct dial, aka the little grid square, type in 1776, hit connect, and I'm reconnected there as you can see. So I thought, you know what, I want to look at the other stuff while we're here. I do have the audio turned up for my note, and there at the bottom left hand corner is the local ident and local time. There's the local ident, identity, identification, here's the local time. Good evening. The time is 6.13 p.m. Okay, that works. And then in the middle, we know what that button is. But over to the right-hand bottom, we've got the gear. And there's the uh, Enable Local Parrot. We'll hit it. Katie 5 fmu Katie 5 fmu And that's working. So we'll disable Local Parrot. And we'll hit pair it once. K85 FMU test one two. K85 FMU test one two. Got a little warble in my signal today. And it should have done it just once, so we'll try it again. K85 FMU. And that did it just once. So we'll hit the menu again. Uh, we got local telemetry enable, disable, local telemetry on demand, enable, disable linking, and the test tone. <laughs> Loving the test tone. But you know what is missing from this? Yeah, I'll show you. I'm going to disconnect all. But you notice on this screen there are no other options for anything other than back. Because when you log in, you only get to log in on one node. As you recall on the iOS app, I had several on there. I, I, I ran into this before and I thought maybe they had updated it, but they have not. They have not updated it and you only get to do one. But you know what is missing here? There are no macros. The iOS app offers macros, which was a nifty little addition. I'm telling you, maybe they'll get it in the future. Who knows? But these buttons are all programmable. So if you hit, you press and hold on them, you get a pop-up menu where you can type in what you want. I can do AA5PD, the amateur radio guy, and type in his node number, 57841, hit OK, and the lower right hand, save a 
saved uh, preset button is there and I can connect to him and boom you can see we're connected to him all over the Supermon page but nothing at the top other than the link nodes number gives me any indication that we've connected now my if my node was set for a, uh, a telemetry was set to announce it would have announced the connection but I have that turned off right now so wow little lackluster on the Android part so there it is folks so what do you think you know it's doesn't quite seem fair that the iOS app for Node Remote gets so many robust features where the users for the Android version don't. I mean, you do have some basic functionality there, and it is very handy, especially when you're traveling on the go. But the Android users just kind of get the short end of the stick on this deal. But it is what it is. Maybe contact the developer and see if they have any intentions of improving it for the Android users. I mean, it is what it is. Fair is fair, in my opinion. So, there it is. Thank you for taking time to watch the video, folks. I appreciate everything you do for the channel. And, and please consider becoming a channel member. It really helps the channel keep moving forward to bring better and bigger and better things to all of you about amateur radio, All-Star Lincoln. Well, just all of it, really. Your support really helps the channel get things going and keep us moving in a positive direction headed to Huntsville Hamfest, so be looking for that content as it comes out. So thanks, y'all. Appreciate everything you do. Hey, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, saying 73, wishing all the good signals to be yours, and ham on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>